I'm a highly competitive person. <laughs> you know, play a lot of ice hockey without really wanting to go into the corners and make a point. I was really pretty bad when I started. Um, I had to work harder at that almost than anything else in my life and ended up being captain my senior year at, at Princeton. At some point you go from the ice, are you playing in it, to being on the bench. And so then when you're a coach, you gotta be looking at things strategically, you gotta come up with a plan. It's a complete parallel for being a CEO. I'm sixth generation in the business. It's great to see some manufacturing coming back into Waterbury. I think we should double down on it. Let's figure out how to bring additive manufacturing. Let's think about robotics. Let's think about even AI, so it's not necessarily manufacturing, but more high tech approaches, because that'll help drive manufacturing. I think if you want to move to a community where you can engage with accomplished, thoughtful, passionate executives. Waterbury's got all of them. And for a small city, it's remarkable the diversity of experience people have, the level of accomplishment people have. The Waterbury today is, is very different. And unlike a lot of other traditional industrial cities, we're moving forward. We're looking at acquisitions, we're adding chemical engineers, we're adding tech support staff, we're looking at reinvesting here in Waterbury. Well, I think Waterbury is going to continue to grow, and so I see for us long term it being a great place to do business. We'll always be here.